Donna, it's been a tough week for the defense minister. The motion comes amid growing calls for Sajjan to either resign or be fired after more questions about his leadership emerged following the now notorious golf game between military brass and former defense chief John Vance, who is under police investigation for sexual misconduct. Well, the opposition can't force Sajjan out, they can publicly scold him. And that's what's expected to happen tonight in the House of Commons. The opposition is taking aim at the minister's handling of the sexual misconduct crisis that has engulfed the Canadian forces. It also criticizes Sajjan's handling of the government's battle with Vice Admiral Mark Norman. Conservative leader Erin O'Toole led the charge in question period. How possibly can the women in the Canadian Armed Forces have any faith in this minister to do his job after he failed them so badly? There is clearly a toxic culture in our armed forces, and that must change. And I do want to say our government has full confidence in our Minister of National Defence. The vote to censure Sajjan is expected to pass later tonight, with the NDP and Bloc both supporting it. But it won't carry any formal consequences, aside from the public shaming. In the meantime, Sajjan is again apologizing and vowing to do better. I also feel the pain of our members, and I will do my darnest and best always for the sake of the Canadian Armed Forces until we get an environment that's inclusive. Meanwhile, time is running out for the Defence Committee to produce its report on military sexual misconduct amongst the senior ranks. That committee shut down its hearings amid acrimonious debate in April that saw the Liberals insisting the time was needed to produce a report while the Conservatives and NDP wanted to hear from more witnesses. But now, with two meetings left and lots of filibustering, that report may never see the light of day. On Thursday, the Status of Women Committee released its report into military sexual misconduct. It makes 21 recommendations, pressing the government to act quickly. But for now, there are questions about whether the minister is up to the job of seeing those changes through. Donna? All right, Mercedes in Ottawa, thanks.